Guys, if you've been watching the last few vlogs, you've been watching the whole process of this whole cucumber pickling process, okay? Well, it's come to an end. We are finished. They are processed, they are done. There's no pop, they're sealed. Okay, so right now, Lincoln and I are getting these bottles wiped because this can be a really sticky process if you're not like cleanly along the way, but you also, it's not really fun to go down in your cold room or like your food storage and grab a sticky jar. So Lincoln is bringing me only two at a time, right? Yeah. <laughs> no more than two. I then wipe the jar, dry the jar, and put them in the box to be delivered. I already got one. Awesome, can you bring more? You keep bringing me more, okay? Yeah. Who are we gonna deliver to first? Uncle yes, and then we're gonna go to my Aunt Julie's. She's in town, so. And then Aunt Ellie? Or... We're just gonna stick to those two today. We're gonna do those two today. And you be extra careful not to drop them. And we're gonna send some to Grandma. Yeah. Yep. Okay. You keep working on bringing me those. I need another box. Can you pause and bring me another box? I'll bring you two. Um, okay. <laughs> Thank you. They're actually not too bad, actually. Not too shabby, huh? You be extra careful, okay? I'm feeling a little nervous. Okay. He didn't respond. That's never a good sign. <gasps> oh my goodness. Did they buy you guys donuts? Uh -uh. Oh, Dad did. <laughs> they bought pizza, but we didn't get any. Oh, they provided pizza for you guys? Yeah. Why are you getting me one? Yeah. You like those ones. Hey, what do you say when someone gives you something? You don't complain about it. What do you, you say? You complain about it. Hey, what do you say? Say, don't. Look at him and say thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, you don't complain about what you were given. Daddy went and helped someone move in our ward Wee. and I, took the older three with them. Guys, thank you. I emptied the trailer to go and when I pulled up they're like, yeah, we're, we're, we're already loaded. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Oh no! That's okay, so I Darn followed it. him down and we gotta help him on the Oh shoot! <laughs> Whoopsie! That's okay. We need to let you roll a chair down the hill. <laughs> yeah, Brother Lundberg, put them on a, like a... Chair? Uh, office chair? Office chair and push them down the hill. <laughs> I was like, well, he'll fix the den. I'll be all if they... Wow, that's funny. Oh. Ah, uh, lady, come pick her up. I do not want her... Pick lady up. <gasps> oh my gosh, you brought peaches! Do you want, okay, well, Joel, take that from my mom. <gasps> Those are, pretty. are these from your yard? Yeah. yeah. We were just standing in our kitchen. I have my cookbook open to the peaches page, and I had my phone in my hand to call you to ask you how big a bushel That's is, right. so I knew, like, what I needed. Uh, well, this is probably, like, the, a little less than half eating, a bushel. Maybe, can't, yeah. Okay. Those are for, oh, we'll eat it. Well, well these are for what? here uh, did not... I like your well, milk milk for, uh, milkshakes and cobbler. Awesome. <laughs> Great. Yeah. How did you know? Because you know everything. <laughs> I made a cobbler last night. Uh huh. Oh my where, gosh. where do you want them? Oh, <laughs> oh sorry. Anywhere on the table's <laughs> Great. Bonnie, it was this big a cobbler, oh. and it's like, like there's we were just cleaning all the yards off. <laughs> So it was yummy. It was really <laughs> well, I have something for you guys. Yeah. I think this is a fair trade, don't you? Yeah. I pick you uh, teeny tiny peaches and <laughs> drop them off at your door, and you give us jars that have been packed and clean. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. we should make whole ones. I was thinking that. We should, yeah. Yeah, yeah baby whole ones would be good. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're welcome. Oh, well, you taught me how, so. <laughs> well, I tell you one thing. I was not expecting the day to go the way that it did. <laughs> Jumping from cliffs so high. Trusting our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I will ever figure out where the road goes <laughs> Even if I'm falling down 
down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down <laughs> it's no fun if you can't sit down and look at what you've been recording. Should I insert here what they're looking at? Even if the sky is falling down. <laughs> my aunt julie came into town my aunt julie not my sister julie my aunt julie who my sister julie is named after and my aunt julie had a son named wade and that is who we named boston after boston wade was after her son so that's kind of who she is. They are. They were in town. She had a whole bunch of her grandkids, and so we went and visited them. Because um, I said, Mom, did you know that your sister's in town? She's like, no. So we ended up hanging out the whole afternoon. We went and got ice cream together, and my kids completely just like buddied up with their kids. And we did the math, or we did the. We looked it up to see who it was. So my kids were playing with. Their third cousins. I think that's right. See, it was explained to me and now I'm not even sure if that's right. But from my perspective, my kids were playing with my third cousins. Is that right? <laughs> I think. So these are all the bottles that are going to be going to other people's homes. And these are just kind of some spare ones. I had my kids take all of mine downstairs. And when we were down there, <laughs> we found this guy. So this is our applesauce from this tree right here. We've done applesauce in the past. And um, if you, like, sometimes I've wondered, you know, how do you know if it's gone bad? How do you know if it's good? Okay, honey, you know if it's bad. Like, come on, this is bad. And you can see it's not sealed anymore. I'm like horrified. I don't even dare open this jar. It's gonna be so bad, like, ew. <laughs> So in the middle of the night last night, Lincoln was having a super difficult time breathing and he was coughing super, super bad. We had just got done playing with our cousins and I was, I was super nervous that Lincoln was like sick. I couldn't decide. I was like, okay, he's either sick or he has like strep. Oh yeah, he either has like strep throat or it's his asthma. So we gave him his nebulizer treatment last night, which, where'd you go? Which he felt a ton better and then he slept through the night. Then this morning he was super like wheezy and coffee again. And so I was like, okay, well, we are not gonna go to church. So Joel took the kids to church and I took Lincoln to Instacare because I needed to like tell the cousins if you know, if he does have sore throat, I need to know if he could go back to school. And so we went in and he was tested for a whole bunch of things and it really just turns out that it was just his asthma. Not just his asthma, but it was his asthma. And do you wanna tell them what you did when the nurse came in and was testing your like temperature and stuff? Do you wanna tell them what you did when the nurse came in? She was sitting there testing his ear and Lincoln was sitting on my lap and I was telling him I was like you're so sweet I was like you can still fit in my lap and I'm gonna hold you as long as I can this child lets out a <laughs> roaring man fart like it wasn't just like a oh too like it was like <laughs> genuinely was in shock and so I asked him, <laughs> it's like what was that I said Lincoln what was that I was like was that a fart and he was like yeah <laughs> he's like laughing I'm like okay like I was having this like my little baby moment nope he lets out this man-sized <laughs> fart it smelled 
so bad. The nurse was just like, <laughs> well. <laughs> so thank you for that. Luckily, he's not sick. We don't have to call anyone and be like, I'm sorry we hung out with you while we were sick. But asthma is no joke. I mean, I was very concerned last night. I was very concerned because when he would cough, it hurt too bad, which that's why I was like, does he have a sore throat? He doesn't have a sore throat or anything. Um, but he couldn't, he didn't want to cough because it hurt so bad and he said it hurt like in here. So he wouldn't let himself breathe and, or cough and so he wasn't breathing and it was just like this like disaster. But the nebulizer really helped so that was really good. I was starting to ride my bike and I found this ladybug so I got off. Mm-hmm. And like, it right up on top of the jar and watch it put it in. Okay, put it in the jar, so. lines on it. Okay, put them in the jar. Gotta find some tea for you. His cough sounds so bad. We didn't give him a breathing, a nebulizer treatment last night, and that was a mistake. We gave him his inhaler, thinking that might be, and it just wasn't good enough. So this will help him sleep, huh, honey? Mm -hmm. You're so good. Should we show him in the morning how you do your inhaler? He's gotten so good at it. Okay, let's just relax and get ready for bed, okay? Should we show them how you do it? Yeah. Here, you trade me spots. <laughs> okay, shake it up really good. So here's an attachment that you could put your, in, um, your inhaler in like this. And so when you would put it in, the little kids can just put their mouth over the top right here and the chamber holds the medication in there so that they can slowly like breathe out of it. But Lincoln doesn't have to use that anymore. Okay, let's show him. He just got home from school and I think now is a good time to do this. Come here. So this is how we kind of taught Lincoln to do it on his own. So I still do it because he's little and he doesn't get into it without asking, huh? So I told him, I said, you breathe out. No, look at mom. This is how we taught him. We breathe out. Yep, just like that. See, you can see he practiced, and we practiced a few different times, or like several times. <laughs> okay, so breathe. So he puts his lips over the top. Here, we're gonna start over. So breathe out. Good, and how does that feel? Good. Well, does it taste kind of funny? Yeah, it kind of tastes funny, huh? But, but you I do like so taste. good. You do not like the taste. Well, now I do. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. That's how we do Lincoln's inhaler. And I'd like to show it because I think that sometimes little kids that are new to doing this, it can be kind of scary. Lincoln, did you think it was kind of scary? Oh, he's not answering the door without asking me. I knew it was the FedEx guy and so did he, but he didn't answer until I told him because I don't like the kids answering the doors without asking first. Anyway, just because, oh, let me, did you answer? Did, was it kind of scary when you first started? Good. Do you even yeah. remember? Uh-huh. Yeah. Maybe he wasn't scared, but I know he, well, I mean, yes, they totally did. He would cry, he would be so upset, like he was just like, I don't like doing this. But they get used to it, they get used to it. I wonder if Lincoln will grow out of his asthma. It's sickness-induced asthma, but he's not sick. So I'm not really sure. It's definitely not like sports-induced asthma. Anyway, I think that's how we are going to close the vlog. Thank you guys for watching and being a part of our weekend, and we'll see you all in our next video. Bye guys.